Hi, this is Halal. In this video on mathematical economic series, we will discuss about the definite integral. Now, this definite integral is used to find the area under a curve. In economics, it is used to find the producer surplus, the consumer surplus, and so on. Now, we know that there is no geometric formula for finding the area under an irregularly shaped curve, such as y is equal to f of x. If this is an irregularly shaped curve, and if we are told to find the area between x is equal to a and x is equal to b that is to say we are told to find the area of this shaded region we can't use the usual geometric formulas now we can do one thing if we divide this inter uh, this interval a b into n uh, sub intervals that is to say x1 x2 x2 x3 x3 x4 and so on and then these rect uh, these rectangles will be formed such that the height of each sub interval is equal to the smallest value of the function in that sub interval that is to say if we have the first interval x1 x2 the smaller of the two x1 and x2 is x1 then the height of this uh, first rectangle is equal to f of x1 the value of the function x1 because x1 is less than x2 similarly the height of this uh, interval x2 x3 will be equal to f of x2 the value of the smallest uh, smaller one between the x2 and x3 and so on now the sum of the areas of the rectangles will be that is equal to that will be equal to i is equal to 1 to n because the width of each uh, sub interval is del x therefore the area of sum of the area of these rectangles will be equal to f of x i uh, del xi where f of xi is the height and del xi is the width now if we sum these areas of these rectangles this will underestimate the area under the curve because these smaller triangular looking shapes will be underestimated underestimated now the combined area of these rectangles will approach to the actual area under a curve if we increase the number of sub intervals that is to say if the number of sub intervals is increased this del x i will get smaller and smaller the width of these sub intervals will get smaller and smaller that is to say if the number of sub intervals it is increased to that is to say n is increased to infinity if there are infinite uh, uh, rectangles then the width of each rectangle will get smaller and smaller so the area of the under sorry the area under the curve can be expressed mathematically as that is to say a that is area will be equal to limit of as n tends to infinity and summation of i is equal to 1 to n f of x i del x i so that is to say as n tends to infinity as the number of uh, rectangles tends to infinity this width del x i will get smaller and smaller and the sum of the rectangles rectangles will be equal to f of x i that is the height of each rectangle times the width of each rectangle so this uh, will approximate this will sorry this will become the actual area of this shaded portion if we increase the number of intervals because these regions will get smaller and smaller and ultimately this uh, these regions will get zeros because uh, the width 
of each rectangle uh, is here del xi and it tends to be zero when this will uh, become like if we are given this if we uh, increase the rectangles like this now this area will get zero and zero and we will get the actual area under the curve so this is the mathematical expression for finding the area under a curve now the area under a graph of a continuous function such that from a to b if we have a continuous function that is y is equal to f of x and we are we have to find the area under the graph from point a to b where a is less than b this can be expressed as the definite integral this is the definite integral of f of x over the interval a to b now this left hand side is read as this is read as the integral the integral from a to b of f of x dx so this is called the integral from a to b of f of x d of x here this a is a is lower limit lower limit and b is upper limit upper upper limit now this is equal to limit as n tends to infinity summation of the rectangles okay now uh, this uh, is the definite integral and the number we will get by solving this definite integral will be a real number now this def definite integral is a real number which can be evaluated by using now the fundamental theorem of calculus says the numerical value of the definite integral of a continuous function if f of x is a continuous function and we have to find the numerical value of this definite integral from interval a to b the numerical value of this definite integral is given given by the indefinite integral f of x evaluated at the upper limit of the integration that is b minus the same indefinite integral f of x now evaluated at the lower limit of integration a that is uh, if this is the continuous function and if we integrate it and if we get f of x then this f of x is evaluated at is evaluated at upper end lower limit is that is to say first we write f of b in place of x we substitute the value of x minus similarly we substitute the value of x uh, with a that is f of b minus f of a now in next let's save an example that is integral from 1 to 2 x cube d of x now if we will integrate this x cube this will become x to the power 4 divided by 4 now we have to evaluate it at 1 and 2 so first we will evaluate this at the upper limit 2 minus then we will evaluate it at the lower limit that is 1 so we will put the value of 2 in place of x that will become 2 to the power 4 divided by 4 and we will sub subtract it by the lower limit now we will put the value of 1 in place of x so this will become 1 to the power 4 divided by 4 so this will become 16 divided by 4 minus 1 divided by 4 so this is so this will become 4 minus 1 divided by 4 that is equal to 15 divided by 4 is the numerical value of this integral now in next videos we will see the economic applications of this